Here we are at Wood Lake. See the boats and our canoe sitting here. See the boats? They're out of the water. Water's gone down considerably. So now I got a bail, but uh, nobody's been here for a while, so <clears throat> we're what we call dry docked. Anyway, I'm gonna bail them out, slide them in, and off we go for the day. There's Delilah. And pretty soon Paul's behind me. He should be right behind me. We're gonna hit the water. Water's a lot lower since the last time I was here. Yep. Gonna be a little rainy this morning, but a beautiful day otherwise. Here we are in Wood Lake. Enjoying beautiful weather. That's Paul. <laughs> Paul Edwards laughing in his main coat. We got Delilah down here. She's got her little jacket on because it's miserable. My dad opted out of this trip because he said it's gonna be miserable. And I said, ah, it ain't gonna be miserable. It's beautiful. And so anyway, we're testing out the water this camp. Get some more bobbing action on Wood Lake. For those of you not familiar with rowing a boat, when you're in a wind like this, you turn the canoe at a, or the boat at a 45 degree angle or some close to that angle, and you let the wind do the work for you. All you do is maintain your position by rolling your oars like this. Yeah, but, but my outfit is sunny, sunny, blue lake. Look, blue sky. <laughs> and white caps. Whoa, that's a good one. Whoa. Oh, that one almost came over. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, no, it's nothing on. It's the bobbing action of the water. Wow. Can't look it this way. There we go. On our second trip, we were coming out after the bear got into our bag. He was tied up on the tree. That would have been like 91 or 92. Yeah. And um, we were coming out, and the you know, bag was ripped off. And there was some girl coming in with her parents, and like a young sibling. Yeah, Samsonite luggage on a canoe uh, trip. That's special. And I, and they said, what happened? I said, well, the bear got to our food. We had them hanging from the ropes. You didn't use the ropes and the pulleys? The ropes and the pulleys. I said, ropes and pulleys? She said, well, I don't know. The said, there's ropes and pulleys. I said, I'll tell you about the stack and cut fire. ready for you. Did you also suggest that as long as there's a Samsonite gorilla present, they'll be fine? But when a bear hits it, they're screwed. <laughs> and, 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 and at one point, they left their tent poles on one end of the portage when they were crossing. Somebody else was going over behind them, said, I'll just take them over. So we figured they're still out there somewhere. Huh? It's been over 20 years. They're 20 years? If you hear about any of, like, a bomb of snowmen, it's, it's them. The girls are older now. <laughs> All right.